having a snack to come home to. Imagine chocolates. Ahem. Sorry. <laughs> imagine chocolate everywhere, in drinks and wrappers and stockings under floorboards. Now imagine all of that dun, dun, dun. disappears. The last chocolate chip cookie in the world. An original performance. Understand if you knew the truth, if you knew the real me, you just wouldn't love me anymore. Hans, nothing you could say would stop me from loving you. You see, Lola, the truth is. Shh, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming of 1,440 minutes in a day to bring you this important news bulletin. I'm Connor Petrie. And I'm Veronica McQueen, reporting live for Channel 3 News. Now, I'm afraid all of you listening may want to take a seat. It seems that the world's supply of chocolate has quickly vanished off the face of this earth. The White House released information suggesting that backfiring pesticides, deforestation of the tropical rainforests, and Kirstie Alley's large appetite have caused this tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> there may be hope. Soon after this information was released, it was reported that Arlene Hutchinson from 1131 Chattanooga Circle baked one last chocolate chip cookie for her son Austin as an after-school snack. And you may not realize it, but you're lucky. The store's been out of chocolate chips for almost a week, but I just happen to have enough left for one more cookie. Well, Mom, you're the best. However, upon hearing the news, agents from the CIA seized the commodity for national security purposes and placed it in the Pentagon, where it is under constant surveillance by armed soldiers. <laughs> go, go, go! Are you Arlene Hutchinson from 1131 Chattanooga Circle? Put the cookie down! Slowly! <laughs> Hershey Chocolate, creator of the Big Bad Wafer Bar and Greasy's Peanut Butter Cup, has hired world-renowned scientists Loretta Swanheil from the Belgian Chocolate Institute and Vladimir Leverek from the Swiss Academy of Confectionary Arts to create a synthetic chocolate before they hit bankruptcy. Vladimir, we must hurry. We only have 24 hours. What are you doing? Then you do get to work. It's too much pressure. I need some inspiration. <laughs> you know, at the Swiss Academy of Confectionary Arts, we always start our mornings out with a drink to sweeten the day. No wonder your product is inferior to the delectable chocolate that we brothers at the Belgium Chocolate Institute. <laughs> you Belgians should stick to your baffles and leave the chocolate to the Swiss. <laughs> Shall we come up with a name for this product? I'll cut you up like Swiss cheese with my sick army knife. There's a good Synthetic chocolate! A synthetic chocolate! A sin! A sin? Sin the jar! Brilliant! Well, that's all for us. Join us later for more information straight from the Pentagon. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Now that I've told you the horrible truth, do you think that you can still love me? You're right. I have stopped loving you. Goodbye. Forever. <laughs>
So, is the president using the cookies leverage against aliens that are currently being harbored in Area 51? Is Willy Wonka really on suicide watch? Where do babies come from? <laughs> Hello? You've reached the Pentagon Information Center. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> come, come again. Hello? You've reached the Pentagon Information Center. How can I help you? Thank you, come again. Can I help you? Oh, no, no, no. We're just here to observe. See, children, this is where all our very important secretaries make all their very important calls. Oh, look at Caesar, though. He's about to make one right now. I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with extra anchovies, please.